Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. We're over there trying food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I do, you can you can physically see me doing it. I you know maybe you can't you know visually impaired people or maybe you're just listening to this in an audio fashion, which is perfectly reasonable. It's not like the video format is super specific to my impossibly I can't I'm not even gonna call it success, but you know my the the, the little bit that my channel has grown, and to everybody who's been involved with that, thank you very much. Though you may not be, you know, the massive multitudes, which, trust me, this channel doesn't deserve it, but I appreciate it, every single one of you. Anyway, while I'm doing that, I got a Peter Can Thunderbolt post for you. I mean, I got a crappy old ladder for some Marvel figures, and, and I'm wearing a cool shirt. It's not the coolest part of the shirt. The back is the coolest part of the shirt. It's for a band called Stellar Circuits. They're out of North Carolina. I like them very, very much. They're excellent individuals and excellent musicians. If you're interested in any of their stuff, there is stuff available on YouTube. I'm going to try to remember to link it in the description. If I don't, yell at me. Uh, but if you don't want to yell at me, you can actually just watch on this channel because I've uploaded videos that I've been to see their concerts. In fact, I uploaded one just a couple hours ago because I was at a concert. Of theirs just a couple hours ago at the time of doing this video. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, boom! We got the funky Kit Kat from the Nippon. Uh, so I've done some funky Kit Kats, some from Japan, uh, some from other places in the world. Go check out those videos. And now I got these ones. I got these at an international fresh market, which is really an Asian fresh market that happens to have like one aisle of like European stuff. But I like them. It's a great store. Uh, that's where I get a lot of my funky stuff. I like I don't go there often. It's literally months in between every trip, but I will just get a whole thing just full of stupid crap. And there we go. Now here's the thing. Sometimes they're nice enough to go over there and let me know what the hell uh, it is in English. This is not the case with this one. I have a picture. The picture appears to be of some sort of biscuits. So I'm going to go with biscuit flavored Kit Kats. That's, that's what I'm going with. Uh, to anybody who maybe can go over there. I know it's like one of those things I could just probably go over there and take a picture of it and have Google or somebody figure it out, but eh, that's more effort than this show is worth, folks. Let's be honest. Big part of the reason why I do this show the way that I do it is because there's a relatively minimal amount of effort involved. I used to do written reviews on my Facebook page. Still need to get back to some of them because my grandma follows my page and she's like, I like your written reviews. Like, you can't disappoint grandma more than I already have as a person. <laughs> Oh, anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to go with biscuit ones. Kit Kat, you Nagaba. Sure, that, or two Nagaba? <laughs> I don't know. So, hopefully these are good. They're Kit Kats. I would imagine they're going to be good. Kit Kit Kats. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. All right. Um, it's weird. Like the the imagery is like all like studying students, people. So like I guess are these like Kit Kats for like people who are studying for exams in Japan? I know that like exams in Japan are like crazy. It's like a whole thing. It's it's basically one of those things. I, I think it's. Like this in other parts of Asia, too, where it's like, basically, you have to do good on that, or, like, your life is just meaningless. And, like, and I'm not trying to be, like, overly hyperbolic about it. Like, if you look into it, it's, like, a whole thing, sadly, where, like, there's a lot of uh, Japanese students and stuff. And I don't know, maybe it's not the case anymore, but I know it was a thing some years back where, like, a lot of Japanese students would actually, like, you know... Uh, 
make a unfortunate. I'm not. I'm not gonna say the word itself, but they would, you know, make an unfortunate and uh, they would make a decision they can't take back. If that makes enough sense, you can look into it if you want. There's, but it, it, it's an unfortunate thing. So there's a lot of pressure on people to perform and to do well on those things. Whereas here in America, when I took the, uh, I don't even think they're calling it <coughs> the SATs anymore by the time I was doing it. Like, they changed it up to something. Maybe it was like the PSTAT or some shit like that. I don't know. They went over there and it's like, if you want, you can take these extra courses and you can do extra tutoring and do all this, that, and the other thing. And basically what it came down to was, it was like, well, if, you know, you want to get around like minimum you know, kind of around, like, the 20 range. That was kind of what they were looking for is, like, a, you know, pretty decent score. I got 19, and they're like, well, if you want, you can take the test again, you know, study and, you know, take it out. <laughs> Fuck it, man, I got 19. It's close enough for me. And here I am, doing this. Oh, it's all played out together. These are tiny ones. They're really small. Like, I mean, typically the Kit Kats, you know, the mini ones, they're small anyway. These are definitely smaller. No two ways about it. These are like the size of, like, Bazooka Joe gum. I like Bazooka Joe. I mean, it's not the best gum, but I like that you got the comics in it. And then I guess they went over there and, uh, freaking revamped the continuity of the comic. Why? It's Bazooka Joe. Who are you revamping it for? For all the kids eating the Bazooka Joe? Kiss my ass. Just stop it. Try some Kit Kats. What do you remind me of? It's a very reminiscent flavor. Um, they're, maybe it's just kind of like a white chocolate flavor. Maybe that's kind of what I'm getting, because, like, it's probably white chocolate. Um, it's really good. Like, it's very, very, very creamy. Uh, not only in sort of, like, the, the way it tastes, but also in, like, the texture. Like, it's very easy to bite through. Kit Kats, here in the good old USA, I mean, you, you can bludgeon somebody with them. You know, they're, you know, granted, yeah, it'll snap, but, you know, you could go over there, you could maybe go over there, Bruce Willis from The Last Boy Scout, you know, you could take some of those, whack somebody in the nose and jam your brain stem into their head, or their nose into their head. Uh, these are like almost melting your mouth. It's really, I, I can dig it. Try another one. You know, because. <laughs> Not because. For, for science. Yeah, like, even going over there and, like, trying to open up the thing, like, the, uh, the plastic of the thing can, like, cut into it. These are definitely softer. Which might just be because they're white chocolate. White chocolate, typically, in my experience, tends to be not as solid. No, these are, there's almost no resistance when you bite into them. Like they just instantly fall apart. And it, there's like a white chocolate kind of taste to it, but there's something else to it too. And it's familiar, but I can't think of what it is. I do like the the wafer aspect of it. I think it plays really nicely with the softer texture. Maybe it's because it's like it's supposed to be reminiscent of like a buttery biscuit or what the hell ever these things are. But it's definitely like it's very light. Um, it is sweet. I mean, it's Kit Kat, but like you know, I have had. In my travels, Kit Kats that aren't super sweet, uh, like green tea Kit Kats, uh, which are really interesting and I actually really like. 
But these, these are very sweet. Last one, I promise. Yeah, because the because the outer chocolate is so light, like it just it goes like straight to the wafer. I think that's what it is. I think the taste is re very reminiscent to me of like the like the vanilla wafer. Not vanilla wafers, not the cookie. But like the, the wafers that you can get like in stores and stuff like that. Well, you can get vanilla wafers in stores too. But like the little, little wafer rectangles, right? And they have like the Neapolitan style. So it's like vanilla, chocolate, and uh, strawberry. And there's other assorted others too, but it kind of, it, it reminds me of like the vanilla one where you get the, you obviously, since you have the chocolate and stuff like that, you have that as like a different thing. Plus it adds a different texture, but once that's gone, it's just sort of like a kind of white chocolatey, almost vanilla-y wafer experience. And because that's so soft, it subsides really quickly in the mouth and so you're kind of left with that flavor pretty quickly that's really good like it the best way i can describe it to me is like if you were to take one of those vanilla wafers you know the ones i'm talking about and if you were to just make them outright better in texture and in flavor these are like vanilla wafer plus five with like an extra damage you know, like fire damage or some shit like that. Nerd stuff. These are really good. I like these a lot. Uh, I like the fact that, like I said, I like the texture aspect of it. And I like that they're light. Like they, because they are, you know, they're not like a deep chocolate, like a dark chocolate or something like that. I like the fact that like these feel like something where I could just go over there. And they're smaller too. These feel like something I could go over there and just have as like an occasional snack. Versus, like, if I had, like, like proper Kit Kats, like, that's a, that's a thing, you know, especially if you get a full-size one. That's a thing. These, it's almost like you can just kind of pop it in, you know, it's going to dissolve quickly, it's going to be super tasty, uh, you know, it's sweet, but it's not, you know, like, chocolate levels of sweet, and, and then it's gone, and you've just had this wonderful little delightful treat. Whatever the hell flavor these are, which I'll have to look up before I can go over there and uh, oh, post the post it on my YouTube channel because I'd like to have it in the title. These are really good. Uh, in terms of recommendation, 100% recommend them. But to that end, excuse me. Again, I got these at an international fresh market. You can maybe get them online. Maybe check out a place. If they're available and you can find them, try them. They're really good. I like these a lot. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, folks. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. And my battery's running low anyway. Uh, plus, I've had done a bunch of reviews in a row. I need to stop. Too much stuff consumed by the Brandon. Five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. If you can go over there and have it. Whatever the hell Kit Kat rest of your life these are, that'd be pretty damn snazzy. Because these are tasty and I enjoyed them. There, there's a very attractive uh, Asian lady on the back. She seems to be enjoying them. If she's enjoying them, and granted they're not actually in her mouth, you know, but I, hey, go with it, right? Advertising or some shit. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated even if it doesn't always feel like it. But you know, we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole, okay? You're not always going to succeed. That's why I put try at the beginning of it. That's a very intentional thing. Okay, I feel like far too often we beat ourselves up as people. We put too much pressure on ourselves like I was talking about earlier. You know, and, and the reality is, folks, you're just you're going to fail sometimes. It's not about going over there and failing. It's, you know, hey, it's the whole Rocky thing, right? You know, life and the get back up and all that stuff but as long as we make the effort that i think makes everything at least a little bit better 
Very final thing, folks. Uh, sorry, my brain stroked off. I, it's late. I'm tired. I was at a show, and I've had a whole bunch of stuff in my body. <sighs> yeah. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there and do it like I'm going to do, and you're going to go get yourself some goddamn sleep so your brain doesn't explode. That's not even true. I'm like, why am I lying to you folks? I'm going to go over there. Probably going to take one of these things that I've reviewed today. Probably the bag of chips. I did some wasabi chips. Try these. They're super good. Uh, go watch that video. And then I'm going to go down in my basement because it's nice and cool down there and it's ass hot upstairs. I'm going to go play some PS1 because I love my PS1. I don't play it enough. Oh, but maybe you're more responsible than I am. You're going to go get yourself a good night's sleep. Do that. Bye.